Singing on an ah sound forces you to sing with an open throat, allowing the air to come out more freely. This is an example of a bad opening. As you can see, the punching bag-like thing is in the way of the air. This is an example of a good opening. The punching bag-like thing is out of the way of the air. The next thing to do is get a mirror and look at the inside of your mouth. You might want to angle it down a little bit and up toward your mouth so that you can um, uh, look inside your mouth. Close the, the opening there that we're talking about. The, you know how there's that punching bag thing? Close it so that you can't see it. Oh. Close it so you can't. Now open it so that you can see it. Uh huh. Good. Close it. Open it. Close it. Open it. You should do that as an exercise to get you used to opening and uh, you know keeping your throat completely open and closed. Now, uh, uh, let's sing that same song again uh, uh, with uh, with a completely open punching bag thing. So here we go. Punching bag. exercise we're going to do is going to help you sustain the air okay. so that every note you sing you've got a lot of support in there pushing the note out. Okay. The best way to do that is is uh, is to force yourself like maybe speed up the song a little bit okay. and force yourself to sing the whole song on one breath because it like you this will happen, okay? okay. You're going to sing and you're going to run out of air before you're done singing. So uh, we're gonna just sing it okay. on an ah, okay? So here we go. Okay. <laughs> Good, keep going, that's fine. It's okay. it's okay, keep going. We're gonna try one, okay. two, ready, and <laughs> one, two, ready. <laughs> You are a lot closer. Yeah. Let's try it again. Let's speed it up. One, two, three. Yeah, I did it! So that was one breath, right? So let's, yeah. let's try it again a couple more times. One, two, ready. that exercise forced you to yeah. save the air. A lot of times what happens is people start to sing and on the first note all of the air is gone. Oh yeah. And and you want to make sure that you make it last. So, you know, that was one of the exercises. So, usually when you're trying to analyze a song, don't try to keep singing the whole song and then mess up that same part. Focus more on just that part. And uh, for example, uh, uh, for this one you'll go uh, once more you open the door. Start low and then go high. Once more you open the door. Once more you open the door. Once more you open the door. There and anytime you strain, stop. Start low again and work your way up. Okay? It does Once more you open the door. Once more you open the door. <laughs> That's the basic idea. You don't have to keep on going on and on, but it's better um, to be next to a piano going up maybe a half a step up at a time and uh, trying to hit those notes. Another thing that's important in singing is uh, breathing. You want to make sure that anytime you're singing, you don't breathe right in the middle of a place where you would normally not pause. For example, you wouldn't say, 
you know what I did yesterday? You, you know, you would finish off the work. You wouldn't just yeah. breathe in the middle of it. And I'm just going to kind of point where you should be breathing. That's okay. all I'm going to do. Okay, so uh, uh, one, two. This time get louder and louder and louder okay. as you get to the end, okay? So, oh, okay. Uh, and, uh, so I'm only breathing there? Only breathing there, but take a big breath. You okay. didn't take a big enough breath here. Oh, okay. okay. So just take a huge breath, and as you're singing, don't let it all out on that first note after you've taken the okay. breath. That's what happened here. That's why it was you uh, ran out of air at the end. So let's try it again. One, okay. two. Sing with the actual words. <coughs> Breathe in. Start singing. Once more. 